An advanced therapy medicinal product is a, 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 an exciting classification of biological medicine that um, is absolutely innovative and um, coming to the fore at the moment and pharmacists need to be aware of them and what their role is within managing advanced therapy medicinal products. So what is an advanced therapy medicinal product? There are three types. There's gene therapies which contain or consist of a recombinant nucleic acid. There are somatic cell therapies and there's tissue engineered products. So somatic cell therapies are they consist of, the starting material consists of cells. Uh, the cells have to be substantially manipulated for them then to be considered a medicine. There's no absolute definition of what substantial def manipulation is, but generally we go by if it re involves incubating and expanding the cells, then that is considered to be substantially manipulating the cell. The other way a somatic cellular product can be defined as a medicine is if it's been used for an, uh, a different essential function. So if the starting material is coming from one area of the body and being used in another, then that also classifies it as an advanced therapy medicinal product. CAR-T therapies are a combination of a gene therapy and a somatic cellular therapy medicinal product. Uh, tissue engineered products are very similar. They start with a cellular or a tissue um, as a starting material and again often the difference there is that they're um, seeded onto a scaffold or a matrix and grown up with the view to regenerating and forming um, a, a, new, a new tissue. So an example of that would be um, the, the product Holoclar which has um, limbal, treats patients with limbal stem cell deficiency. So in that case limbal stem cell deficiency is often caused um, by some sort of chemical burn, maybe a firework or a piece of brick or something like that into the eye. It's often unilateral and where that's the case uh, it's possible to take some limbal stem cells from the, the good eye and grow them within the manufacturing suite into a medicine which can then be transplanted back into the eye and treat that chemical burn.